Welcome back to New Day Cleveland. David's still in the kitchen, but I have a lovely, well, I'm going to call her co-host for a session here right now. Mackenzie is our intern who has really become a star intern. I, how many times have you, how many summers have you been with us now? Lost count, like three maybe? I think three. Like, since she started college, she's going into her senior year now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she has really been a rock star for us. And I know that you kind of jumped in. You always want to get involved mm -hmm. in what's going on. So uh, you even took yourself out on a little shoot, didn't I you? I did. I did. Um, we we're checking out a delicious ice cream shop okay. that is dedicated to its local roots, all about Akron. There's a shop in Akron and Medina. And it's run by a family who enjoys putting a unique spin on your favorite summertime treats. I bet you have never had ice cream like this before. Ooh. Check out Chill Artisan Ice Cream. in downtown Akron ready to eat some ice cream and who doesn't like ice cream it's a sweet spot sweet treat and I'm here with Patrick who is one of the owners of chill ice cream Patrick thanks for being with us today Thank you. so can you tell us a little bit about how you started chill mm -hmm. it all started with me and my two other brothers kind of going to all the different ice cream stores here in Northeast Ohio and while some were better than others I mean and they didn't really change it was just still chocolate vanilla and strawberry so I, at the time our parents bought us like a mini ice cream maker and then that's when we experimented with those more unique flavors and even some that you see today. And then kind of once we were growing up and really wanted to go into business together, me and my three brothers started Chill Ice Cream. So one of the first things you notice when you walk in here is the huge counter full of ice cream. How many flavors do you guys have? We keep 32 all the time. And then do those change? They yeah, the same? there's only seven that stay the same, so kind of the basics, and then everything else will eventually change. So what is it like when you guys make any flavor? How do you decide what to put in it? Um, it's kind of just, you know, walking through the farmer's markets or kind of, you know, seeing going to other bars and restaurants, other local places and seeing kind of what they're doing, what we're able to kind of put in the ice cream, you know, what can we make, you know, what will really appeal to the customers. But it's not only that, it's also seeing, you know, what do the customers suggest? What are the other local businesses? What products do they have that I can incorporate into the ice cream? And you have some flavors that are sponsored by local businesses, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, we love to do that. Um, so any business um, can come in. It doesn't mean that they have to have a product that can go into the ice cream. I mean, it could be a plumber company to, you know, hair salons to, you know, anybody can really sponsor a flavor. And then do they get to choose what goes inside there? Mm -hmm. Yep. They can pick whatever they want to make their ice cream out of. Even bacon, right? Yep, bacon. We got bacon flavors mm -hmm. over here for yep. ice cream. That was for the Akron Children's Hospital where there was a child that came from one of their departments and actually made that himself. So he actually picked mango, bacon, coconut, and uh, pineapple. And so it's a mango, ba mango and coconut base, and then with bacon and pineapple throughout. We're not afraid to push the envelope. Almost anything I can make an ice cream out of. We're gonna get to check out behind the scenes at Chill. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little about what we're gonna find? Mm -hmm. So everything will start with the cream, unless it's a sorbet or a vegan, but if you start with the cream, then we're making most of everything we're gonna be putting in. So actually today I'll make you guys a chocolate milk and cookies, and we're actually gonna be making our own chocolate and then adding that into the cream. Then is that a one person job, or do you guys all take turns making ice cream? We all take turns, so usually it's a one or two person job to really get it done. Thank you so much for being with us, and now I'm gonna have to try some ice cream. Let's test this out. I've got blueberry. It's awesome. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. Yep, thank you. Well, that looked good. That blueberry ice cream was delicious. It How was. How did you find this place? Well, I've been to the location in the Medina Square a few okay. times. And it was always really good, and every time I went, the flavors were different. And so I kind of looked into it a little more, and they've got this newer shop in Akron that's also really awesome. So two locations, Medina mm -hmm. and Akron. We'll have to have you back. She's yeah. coming back. She's doing another yeah. piece next week, so yeah. we'll see you in a little bit, right? Sounds good. Thank you very much, darling. All right.